years old. Tim worked in the trenches for many years when he first started out in this company. 51 years. 12 years. 20 years. 50 years. Took a small Wisconsin company to one of the best in America. Tim is really hardworking. Very good leader. And he's going to tell you like it is. Because of Tim Michaels, there are thousands of good paying jobs in Wisconsin. Jobs that people are proud of. I wouldn't hesitate for one second to jump in a foxhole with Tim. I would never bill someone twice for the same job. But Tim Michaels has a record of doing just that. Michaels billed Wisconsin taxpayers twice for the same construction job, totaling $400,000. And you and I paid for it. And once he was caught, Michaels tried to charge the taxpayers an extra $52,000 just to fix it. That's totally dishonest. I never trust anyone like that as governor. Tim Michaels is wrong for Wisconsin. Straight ahead on News Watch 12 at 5, a bonfire explosion is under investigation. We'll have the latest on what we know so far. Plus, the company is preparing to drill at three of Wisconsin's natural features. We'll explain what they plan on drilling from the locations. And the Achieve Center in Wausau is unveiling its new child care program. We'll have the details as your local news starts right now. News Watch 12 with Dan Hagen, Jessica Jukic, and Conrad Sapinski. Good evening and welcome to News Watch 12 at 5. I'm Dan Hagen. And I'm Jessica Jukic. The Shawano County Sheriff's Office is investigating a bonfire incident this weekend. Yeah, the explosion happened after an accelerant inside the fire combusted, injuring many in the crowd. At this point, the Sheriff's Department have met with about 17 victims, but those injured could be as high as 30 or 40 people. Exact severity of all injuries is not known at this time, although we do know injuries range from critical to others who have already been released from the hospital. Law enforcement are asking that any victims or witnesses who have not spoken to please come during this time to meet with detectives. If anyone wishes to speak with one of the detectives working on the matter, contact the sheriff's office. Canada-based Greenlight Metals has submitted plans to start drilling near a few of Wisconsin's natural features. The Schwamigan Nicolay National Forest, the Ice Age National Scenic Trail, and the Dells of Eau Claire State, uh, State Natural Area are all targeted for mining development. The DNR received green lights noticed of intent for exploration drilling near Eau Claire Dells on October 7, 2022. The plan would allow a 450-foot deep open pit mine to be constructed. They believe it contains 4 million tons of copper and gold. Drilling the mine would also include having nine boreholes drilled in wetlands up to 650 feet deep. Hazardous waste would be not be allowed to seep directly into wetlands. Waste will be captured inside recirculation tanks located at each drill site and then disposed of in pits at higher elevations on the property. Well, Conrad, many of us in northern Wisconsin saw some snow this morning. That was mm -hmm. exciting. Yeah, I actually drove up to the UP right in the morning, and it was insane. Six mm. plus inches of snow over oh there. Gosh. <laughs> Nothing like that out here, but now taking a look outside, we do still have some light flurries in the area. Most of that heavy, heavy lake effect snow is pretty much just south of Marquette, right over here, indicated in those darker blue colors. For us, though, we're in the clear. Just lots of cloud cover and some flurries left and right, but overall, not looking too bad. We do still have winter weather advisories in the area. This will be expiring in the next hour and 45 minutes. Same thing with those winter storm warnings just north of us in Vilas and Iron County. So all of that will be gone a very, very shortly. But what's not going to be gone are those cold temperatures outside. 33 in Rhinelander right now, 32 in Eagle River. So temperatures are starting to drop near freezing. So everything that was on frozen will continue to freeze. So be careful. It will be slippery outside. Same thing here in Rhinelander as temperatures continue to dip into the mid-20s. Dan and Jessica? Former President Barack Obama will attend an early voting event with Governor Tony Evers and Senate hopeful Mandela Barnes on Saturday, October 29th in Milwaukee. Other Democrats, such as Attorney General Josh Call, Senator Tammy Baldwin, and Representative Gwen Moore of Milwaukee will also be in attendance. A Milwaukee native, Barnes has been attempting to rally voters after a Marquette University Law School poll showed Senator Ron Johnson leading him by six points. Governor Tony Evers is being challenged by construction company owner and Trump-endorsed Tim Michaels. Polls show Evers ahead by less than a half of a point. 
President Obama won Wisconsin back in 2008 by 14 points and by 7 points in 2012. Borrowers of federal student loans can now apply for President Biden's forgiveness program. People can access the application on the Department of Education's website. The form is short and does not require supporting documents for now. The Department of Education may request additional information at a later date. Monday, the president reaffirmed that the richest Americans are not eligible for the program. Borrowers should receive an email confirmation once they submit their application form. They'll then be notified that they got the loan. The House Select Committee investigating the January 6th Capitol riot is winding down, but it's not done yet. Congresswoman Zoe Lofgren says the committee wants to hear from former Secret Service Assistant Director Tony Ornato. Then White House aide Cassidy Hutchinson testified. He told her about then-President Donald Trump's behavior on January 6th. Her second-hand account is that Trump's protectors told him not to go to the Capitol, and he lunged at one of them in anger. Now, almost two years after the Capitol riot, some people still baselessly deny the 2020 presidential election results. And as the midterms approach, at least a few candidates are doubling down. Will you accept the results of your election in November? I'm going to win the election, and I will accept that result. If you lose, will you accept that? I'm going to win the election and I will accept that result. The House Select Committee has voted unanimously to subpoena Trump. If he refuses, the panel could send the Department of Justice a criminal referral of contempt. Representative Lofgren says the committee hasn't decided whether it would do that, but she says ultimately the matter is up to the DOJ. The Achieve Center in Wassa has one mission, and that's to provide a high level of care to children that need help. Now their building looks a little different after a long construction process. Their new child care program is almost ready to get started. Newswatch 12's Mohammed Abdul Kawi joins us in studio to tell us more. Mohammed. A few months ago, I went to the Chief Center to learn about their treatment-focused child care program. The facility was under construction, but now it's finally complete. Earlier today, I went to Wasa to speak with the executive director about this, how the impact, well, this, I'm sorry, this impact will make to the community. I can't believe we're really here. The Achieve Center in Wassa completed its construction on a brand new facility for its treatment-focused child care. And I am really motivated to work with the directors and the teachers to make this the best possible experience. Even though the process took months to finish, Executive Director Carol Wesley believes that her and her crew benefited from it. Uh, we had some construction challenges and it... Um, provided us an opportunity, though, to really put together a program and a facility that will be of great benefit to the children. This program is one of a kind in the area. It features three classrooms, a gym, four treatment rooms, a nurse's office, and a kitchen. There are parents who are extraordinarily excited about uh, having a place where their children can go that will be safe, that will meet their needs, and where the children can receive the treatment they need. It's all about the children and to make sure they are at their absolute best. Wesley hopes that this child care center will make an impact in the community. I'm looking forward to being able to uh, hear and see those kids uh, when I enter the facility and to be having the interaction with parents and everybody who's going to be involved in helping these children be able to reach their optimum best. The Chief Center is still taking application for kids, and they are hoping to open the child care in two weeks. I will explain more about the program in our 6 p.m. newscast. Jessica? Thank you, Mohammed. A retail giant is making it easier for families to purchase hearing aids. And the Tomahawk Chamber of Commerce is undergoing some changes. We'll have that story right after weather with Conrad right here on Newswatch 12. They say the real measure of a leader is in how he treats his people. But at Tim Michaels' company? These allegations span over two decades. Women say they were groped. The male superior groped the crotch and inner thigh of a female employee. Assaulted and pressured to have sex with their bosses. If she refused demands for sex, she would be blackballed. And when co-workers spoke up, they say they were fired. 
So if that's the kind of leader Tim Michaels is, how do you think he'd lead the state? Reducing prison populations is now sexy. Reducing prison populations is now sexy. Sexy? Mandela Barnes's administration has released over 800 criminals, including 44 child rapists. That's not sexy. It's terrifying. And as a mother, I don't want Mandela Barnes anywhere near the Senate. From defunding our police to releasing predators, Mandela Barnes is a threat to Wisconsin families. I'm Ron Johnson, and I approve this message. There are never enough hours in the day. I'm always making trade-offs, sacrifices. But I'll keep going. Even when it feels like there's no way I can do it all. I won't give up. I'm doing this for me. And for them. We're doing this. Together. North Central Technical College's virtual college. Flexible learning. Because our time is precious. Don't like paying taxes? Neither does Mandela Barnes. Barnes didn't pay thousands in property taxes he owed. Barnes failed to pay his taxes, but he wants you to pay more. He supported raising Wisconsin's gas tax nearly 30%, even though we already pay some of the highest gas taxes in the country. And he supported a billion-dollar tax increase on Wisconsin families and an income tax as high as 70%. Mandela Barnes, another tax-raising, hypocritical politician. Senate Leadership Fund is responsible for the content of this advertising. It's Monday, and I drove out to the UP just north and east of Watersme earlier today. Take a look at the scene behind me. That is six-plus inches of snow, and that's very heavy, wet snow. With all that wind, look what happens. Down trees, blocking roadways. There are a couple people out of power. So it is a whole different scene out there. Right now, we do still have some winter weather advisories in the area. A couple of winter storm warnings, all of this will be expiring in the next hour and a half, so nothing to worry about with that, as everything is starting to wind down besides just south of Marquette. Take a look right here, that darker blue right there, those are heavier bands of snow, so still one plus inch an hour snowfall rate, so really heavy snow up there. Though some of these locations will get close to a foot even more of snow, so really heavy and a really big lake effect snow event going on. First one of the year. But take a look at this, the low pressure system right here, the spinning counterclockwise producing a lot of moisture and those winds are blowing this way. So that means lake effect snow for the UP and that's gonna continue into the overnight hours tonight and the same thing into the first half of the day tomorrow before finally starting to move out and then look what happens again into Wednesday morning. Couple more flurries out there but overall we are looking pretty good. For us in Rhinelander a couple of flurries will be lingering today into tonight and same thing for the first half of the day tomorrow but temperatures will be cold. Doesn't look like we'll get lots of snow here in Rhinelander. Maybe a trace or not, a couple of flurries, but that is the area just south of Marquette. That dark blue is still several, several inches of snow. So if you do live up there, take extra precautions. But like I said, not only the snow's the issue, but that wind as well. That's why our feels like temperature tomorrow morning is gonna be in the teens, really bundle up, layer up, put on extra hats, maybe a scarf, cause it will be cold. It's only middle of October, so definitely layer extra. But these winds will be very, very gusty. Some locations over 40 mile an hour gust, especially in the UP where there's some heavy snow on trees everywhere. That's gonna cause lots of power outages the next 24 hours. Temperatures though, near freezing in the area, 33 in Rhinelander, a little bit warmer by Tomahawk coming in at 34. Wausau, 37, Green Bay, 44 degrees, so looking real nice today after that Packers game. But hey, there's always a light at the end of the tunnel. Look at this warm-up. If you don't like the, the stairs, I definitely want to climb these. 50s and 60s, almost 
70s by Sunday. So really nice weather is on the way. A whole 180 for what we got going on right now. But our seven-day outlook brought to you by Northwoods Furniture and Mattress does show that warm-up on the way and lots of dry weather throughout the weekend. Same thing into the weekend. Dan and Jessica. Thanks, Conrad. Walmart is helping people with hearing problems. The retail giant announced that it is selling the over-the-counter hearing aids for the first time in company he history starting today. These devices can be purchased without a medical exam by a doctor or even a prescription. This comes in the aftermath of the FDA's new rules regarding hearing aids. The FDA says their policy change will make hearing aids more accessible to the general public. Officials say they will be available to U.S. shoppers who are at least 18 years old with perceived audio issues. The aids cost between $199 to $999 per pair. Federal prosecutors want Steve Bannon to be sentenced to six months in prison for contempt of Congress. That's according to a recommendation filed today. A jury found the former top advisor to former President Donald Trump guilty of two counts of contempt in Congress in July. He refused to provide documents and testify before the select House committee investigating the January 6th Capitol breach. Prosecutors say six months is the top end of the sentencing guidelines. The government is also seeking $200,000 in fines. Prosecutors say Bannon refused to disclose his financial records in their pre-sentencing investigation. They say he insisted he's willing and able to pay any fine imposed, including the maximum fine on each count of the conviction. In a few weeks, voters from across the state will weigh in on school district referendums. Staff members of the Three Lakes School District will be making the case to vote yes tonight. The district is asking for $4.25 million each of the next four years. That would be another extension of a referendum that dates back to 2006. With this continuation, approving the request w wouldn't re affect the current tax levels. The district is hosting three community information sessions. The first will be tonight at 6 p.m. in the school auditorium. New changes are in place for a chamber in Lincoln County. Following their meeting last week, a new slate of elected personnel will be on the board at the Tomahawk Chamber of Commerce. Newswatch Trolls Matt Weaver was there and now joins us live in studio with more. Well, Dan, one of those changes includes a new president to the Tomahawk Chamber of Commerce Board of Directors. Al Elvins is entering that role as he says he has one focus, continuity for the program. Make sure that we have uh, effective leadership, make sure that we look out for the businesses and the community and uh, create that bond and that uh, cohesion. The Chamber has also welcomed members to a trip to Pompeii in Italy. Chamber Director Sherry Hewlett was excited to share this announcement. So that will give a different perspective for the chamber members to actually, again, let their hair down and kind of get to know the chamber director and um, chamber in Italy. Members traveling on this excursion will have the opportunity for a meet and greet with a local Italian chamber, a chance for them to unwind and put business matters aside while bonding. Dan? Thanks, Matt. The Green Bay Packers suffered a brutal defeat yesterday. Coming up on Newswatch 12, we'll tell you what Aaron Rodgers' simple message to his coaches afterwards. In the Senate, Ron Johnson pushed tax loopholes benefiting himself and his donors. Did my business benefit? Sure. Did some of my donor businesses? Sure. But here's what Johnson's doing to us. He voted to raise the retirement age and allow cuts to Social Security. Even supports letting Wisconsin ban nearly all abortions and said, if you don't like it, you can move. Ron Johnson works for himself, never us. SMP is responsible for the content of this ad. Change it up and choose Dutch Boy from Menards. Get the best quality Dutch Boy paints at the best prices. Pick out the perfect color. We offer free custom color matching and tinting to create thousands of color options. And with Dutch Boy's easy opening, smooth pouring container and no prep, no prime formula, transforming your home has never been easier. Save 11%. And all Dutch Boy paints now at Menards. There's no other place where my story is possible. My mom was a teacher. My dad worked third shift. It was our ticket to the middle class. That's the promise of America I'll fight to protect. While others send our jobs overseas, 
I'll bring manufacturing back. Invest in our own workers and stock our shelves with American products. And with a middle-class tax cut, you'll be able to keep more of what you earn. I know the promise of America, and no one will fight harder to protect it. I'm Mandela Barnes, and I approve this message. Look at that mattresses. <laughs> I'm just looking. Jump on it, roll on it. No. I can see you in it. You got your firm plush, ultra plush, ultra plush plus. Just pretend I'm not here. My name is Richard. You have any questions? Buying a mattress can be uncomfortable. She seemed nice. That's why Slumberland has modernized the process, giving you the freedom to have a comfortable experience. Right now, get 30% off select mattresses. Slumberland. Mattress shopping reinvented. When Kenosha burned, Tony Evers fanned the flames. He blamed police. When we needed help, he refused. For days. I know. I know. Because we were there. Evers puts politics over our lives. Over your lives. That's why we support Tim Michaels. As a veteran, Tim Michaels won't abandon us. Tim Michaels will have our back. And stand strong against violent crime. We're with Tim. It seems like we time traveled back to the 1980s because the Green Bay Packers might not be very good. The offense was especially disappointing, putting up just 10 points yesterday. But the team's star quarterback shared a simple way to get the pack attack back on track. A reporter asked Aaron Rodgers what sort of adjustments the offense should make. Rodgers said simply, simpler, as in simplify the offensive game plan. I don't want to get too specific. Um, and I'm not... Uh... Not attacking anything. I just think that based on how we've played the last two weeks, I think it's going to be in our best interest to simplify things uh, for everybody. Not to stir the pot here, but that message could be seen as criticism toward the Green Bay coaching staff. Head coach Matt LaFleur was asked today about Rogers' simplify message. Nothing. There, there's nothing that we put in um, when we put in the game plan without having some communication with him because I don't I don't want to put it in if he doesn't feel good about it or uneasy about it um, you know obviously you always want your quarterback to be comfortable and confident in, in the plan I think that's where it starts since head coach Matt LaFleur joined the Packers back in 2019 Green Bay had not lost back-to-back -back games of course that streak ended yesterday Hopefully, it doesn't become LaFleur's first three-game losing streak. Packers head to D.C. on Sunday to take on the Commanders. The last Wisconsin team to win a championship are just about to tip off. The Milwaukee Bucks will be back this week, but they will be without their second-best scorer, Chris Middleton, to start the season. Middleton is expected to miss the first few weeks of the regular season as he rehabs from wrist surgery. And that's a painfully familiar spot for the Bucks, who lost to the Celtics in seven games last postseason when Middleton was out with an MCL sprain. Despite this setback, Milwaukee has the fourth best NBA title odds, according to betting websites. A big reason for this is the Bucks have yet to lose a playoff series when their three stars, Giannis Middleton and Drew Holiday, are all playing. Milwaukee will take on Philadelphia this Thursday for the season opener. The Amherst Falcons high school football team were kicked out of the high school football playoffs last week after the WIAA says the team had a player who wasn't eligible to play. Amherst student athletes were in court today to try and reverse that decision. Portage County Circuit Court Judge Michael Zell, though, sided with the WIAA and didn't grant a temporary restraining order filed by Amherst High School. On October 10th, the WIAA received an anonymous tip that one of Amherst's players had played high school football when he was in eighth grade. WIAA rules state that players can only have eight semesters of eligibility. We'll be right back after the break. This portion of News Watch 12 is brought to you by Slumberland. Look at the mattresses. <laughs> I'm just looking. Jump on it, roll on it. No. Just pretend I'm not here. Do you have any questions? Buying a mattress can be uncomfortable. She seemed nice. That's why Slumberland has modernized the process. Slumberland. Mattress shopping reinvented. Over 
800 convicted criminals released. 270 murderers and attempted murderers released. 44 child rapists released. Tony Evers' parole commission has released hundreds of violent criminals early, including some of the worst killers in Wisconsin history. Evers' liberal policies are making our communities less safe. Tony Evers put criminals first and our family safety last. To everyone who craves a fresh meal, come have a taste of Wisconsin. America's Dairyland. As in real dairy. It gives Clover's fresh frozen custard its famous rich and creamy flavor. Like really rich. So rich. Rich and creamy. And our cook to order butter burgers. They're tough with, you guessed it, Wisconsin cheese. But it's the smiles we put on your face with every meal made just for you. That really makes our hearts melt. From Wisconsin with love. Welcome, Welcome to Delicious. delicious. <laughs> Welcome. We're so glad you're here. Looking for one of our most capable Ford SUVs? Okay, great. We've got you covered. Spacious interiors, innovative tech, good looks, and a legendary off-road experience. Check out our inventory today or let us help you place a custom order. Getting into the perfect Ford SUV? Well, it's easier than ever. Yeah, we've got you covered. Now choose FlexFi on a 2022 Ford Escape or Edge and get 0% financing for 66 months. As law enforcement, we've seen a lot. Enough to know the attacks on Governor Evers are outright lies. The truth? The governor actually increased police and first responder funding. That's a fact. Even fact checkers said the attacks on Evers were false. And Evers is working to invest in school programs, mental health treatment, and job training in high crime areas. Those are the real facts. That's how a governor leads, and that's the truth. Governor Tony Evers, he's doing the right thing for Wisconsin. Right now at Slumberland Furniture, you'll get 30% off all living room furniture. Yep, sofas, sectionals, tables, recliners, and more. All 30% off. Plus 30% off select mattresses and 20% off everything else. On now at Slumberland Furniture. Dan Conrad, with all this cold weather, it definitely feels like winter's upon us. We had our first snow last week, and some other areas saw more snow today. Yeah, it's actually our first big heavy lake effect snow event. Taking a look outside, I was actually in the UP earlier this morning to have some nice pictures for you folks. Take a look at that. Wow, those are trees down because all that heavy snow, a little bit of wind, and that's exactly what was happening. Some people are actually out of power as well because of all those winds. There's still some heavy snow lingering just south of Marquette. But overall, we are in the clear. There are a couple of flurries still left over, and that's going to continue into the overnight hours. We do still have some winter weather advisories and some winter storm warnings in Vilas and Iron Counties. But don't worry, all of that will be expiring within the next hour and a half. But temperatures will continue to be on the cooler end. Right now near freezing, and they will continue to...